A short field landing is used for a short runway or to clear an obstruction before landing or both. Total distance would need to include the distance needed to clear a 50 foot obstacle, if that applies, plus the distance to land, plus the ground roll to the point the plane would come to a complete stop. The computation for the landing distance is based on full flaps and power at idle with maximum braking on a runway that is paved, level, and dry with a zero wind condition, and finally a speed of 61 knots, 50 feet above ground level. Altitude, temperature, and weight of aircraft are other factors to consider. It goes without saying you will have to adjust the distance if any of these factors are different. We will say the weight of the aircraft is 2300 pounds to match the chart and the winds are calm. The elevation of Cascade Locks Airport is 151 feet. Looking at the chart, it is conservative to go to 1000 feet pressure altitude since we are above sea level and the ground roll is longer as the pressure altitude goes higher. For our example, we will say the temperature is 85 degrees Fahrenheit which is just below 30 degrees Celsius. Again, if the temperature was above 30 degrees Celsius, we would want to go to 40 degrees because ground roll is longer as temperature is higher, again to be conservative. So our answer is a ground roll of 565 feet, or if we are clearing a 50 foot obstacle, then we need 1,330 feet. Either of these is less than 1,800 feet, which is the length of this runway. On final, establish a steeper and slightly higher than normal approach. Set the flaps to full position. Pitch for 60 knots at idle power. Touch down at a stall speed of 41 knots. When you land, keep the yoke pulled back for aerodynamic braking. Retract the flaps while gently and smoothly applying the brakes. Bring the airplane to a complete stop on the runway. Then look for the closest ramp to exit. Subscribe to this channel to learn more.